everybody, welcome back to Bolt Action Ballistics. For today's video, we are going to do a 30 out 6 versus a 308 ice test. Um, I, ha I have this brand new 30 out 6, haven't been able to find ammo for it yet, so I have some old antique ammo here that needs to be shot so I can either reload it or do something with it. But yeah, you can see it's getting green there at the, on the bullet. Pretty old stuff. My brother gave it to me, so yeah, that's the only ammo I have for my 30 out six so far. But yeah, we're gonna do the 30 out six versus a 308 180 grain bullet test versus ice. Let's get set up and get started. Okay, we've got five jugs of frozen ice here. We're gonna hit it with the 308 first and see what happens. Okay, so this is my 308 Howa 1500. The Burris Scout, 180 grain bullet here. Let's hit that ice and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Yeah, looks like we hit a little low on that one. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, looks like that was the third one, that's the second one, and this one's the first one. So we blew through the first one, got low on the second one, and it looks like we're right here on the third one. Went in right there on the bottom, and it looks like the bullet's right there. See that dark spot right there. So we're going to set these aside, and we're going to hit it with 30 out 6, and then we'll see the difference. Okay, so we got five set up again. Let's hit it with that 30 out 6 and see what happens. Okay, so I got my brand new 30 out 6 here. TC Compass. Nyko Sterling Scope. Let's go ahead and hit it with the 180 grain and see what happens. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some pretty cool stuff right there. This was obviously our first one here. This must have been the second one. Because this one's untouched. No way. You're not going to believe this. These are definitely untouched. I don't see a hole in any of these. So the 30 out 6. Blew through the first one and stuck in number two somewhere. No way. Versus the 308, stuck in number three. That's crazy. Let's see how far it went in. Halfway. 
the 30 out six made it just a little more than halfway through the second one. Look how that thing mushroomed out. Pretty cool. Okay. So here we have the 30 out six. Let's set that right. We're gonna set up. So this was the 308, the first one, blew right through it. Blew right through number two, right up, kind of a little bit low, but it still made it good, fair and square through there though. Then it's literally just inside on the third one here. That is crazy. So that 308 made it through a little bit further than the 30-06. Okay, so here's the 30 out 6, nicely mushroomed out. Full expansion. Went through one and a half jugs, one and three quarter actually. He went and made it about three quarters of the way through the second one. This is the casing I found stuck inside the third one of the 308. So, like I said, these were both 180 grain, both factory ammo right from the factory. The 30 out 6 ammo was old ammo though. It, I don't know how old it was, but it definitely was older ammo. I don't know if that had something to do with it. But it really surprised me that the 308 went a couple inches further than the 30 out 6. But this is actually a really cool mushroom. 38, the 30 out 6. Pretty cool. I mean, it just mushroomed it out real nice. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.